Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be learning the most efficient way to add decimal numbers. Okay, let's get to it. What I recommend doing at this point is pausing the video and writing these calculations down, maybe even having a go at them first, and then checking your working against mine. Let's get cracking with our three examples then. So I've got a little top tip there for you to make sure that your decimal places are all in line when we set this up in our column method and that there's one in your answer as well. And that must also obviously be in line. Otherwise you'll end up times in or dividing something by 10 or 100 perhaps. And with this method, there's nothing different that you do than when you're adding whole numbers you just you do the same thing, except you must make sure that those decimals are in the right place. Okay, so let's get going with our first example then. So we've got 9.6 add 3.5. Okay, we'll put in our answer equal sign there and one in our answer. So you can see that those decimal places are all completely in line. Now we just do the same thing as we would with whole numbers. So six add five or six tenths add five tenths so that makes 11 or 1.1 as you can see there and then we've got some whole numbers so nine add three is 12 add the one makes 13. so 9.6 add 3.5 is 13.1 and if you wanted to to make it easy for yourself you could even put your place value headings in there if you feel like it helped okay so let's move on to our second example so we'll do the exact same thing we'll start by lining up these numbers in the correct place 0.58 let's put in our equal sign and our decimal in our answer now with this one what you'll notice is we've actually got some hundredths in one of our columns but not in the other now what you can do because there's literally four ones six tenths and no hundredths you can pop a placeholder zero in there and then we just go again so that makes it nice and easy to visualize and see so nothing add eight or no hundredths add eight hundredths is eight hundredths Six tenths add five tenths is 11 tenths or 1.1. So we'll carry that whole one over. Then I've got four add three, which is seven. And then I've got my extra one to not forget. So 8.18. So 4.60 add 3.58 is 8.18. I hope you're doing well so far. Right, so let's move on to our next example. So we have point. 8.6 add 5.032 so this time I've got two numbers I'll put my place value headings in and one of them goes to hundredths tenths hundredths but the other one goes to thousandths okay so we can do the exact same thing as we did before is pop our placeholder in there and then we just need to make sure that we've got our lovely answer sign in there and decimal in the answer in line okay and then we can just add up like we normally would so zero add two or zero thousandths add two thousandths is simply two thousandths six hundredths add three hundredths makes nine hundredths Eight tenths add no tenths is eight tenths, nothing to carry over. And then we've got eight add five, which is 13. If this video has helped you today, then please consider checking out my other videos. Maybe leave a comment for any that you'd like me to do in future. And also maybe a little subscribe as well. Until next time, guys. Goodbye.